Hello dear children, welcome to the first episode of our new series, Blast from the Past, where we will be discussing previous year questions from JE Advanced. So let us dive into the question. So the first question is, here we are asked to find out the minimum value of the modulus of a complex number, say z is equal to a plus b omega plus c omega square where a, b and c are all integers but not all equal that is maximum two of them can be equal all of them cannot be equal and omega is a cube root of unity other than one right so what can we do we can try and find out mod z square right so we know mod z square is equal to z into z conjugate right z into z conjugate that is a plus b omega plus c omega square into a plus b omega plus c omega square the whole conjugate right so we know the conjugate of z1 plus z2 is z1 conjugate plus z2 conjugate so let us use that here we have a plus b omega plus c omega square into what is the conjugate of a a is a real number right so real, conjugate of real number will be a itself same goes with b so we have b into omega conjugate plus c into conjugate of omega square right so now we know an interesting fact right omega and omega square are the complex conjugates of each other omega's conjugate is omega square and omega square conjugate is omega. We can easily see that if we uh, take it on the argon plane, right? Omega and omega square are the conjugates of each other. So we can replace omega conjugate and omega square conjugate. So let us do that. A plus B omega plus C omega square into A plus B omega square plus C omega. Now let us expand this, multiply and expand. What are the terms that we will get? So we will have a square, right? Then we will get b square and c square. Then there will be terms in a, b, b, c and c, a. What will be the coefficient of the terms a, b, b, c and c, a? We will have a, b into omega plus omega square. You can just multiply and see, right? a, b into omega plus omega square bc into omega plus omega square plus ca into omega plus omega square but we know that 1 plus omega plus omega square is equal to 0 so we can take omega plus omega square is equal to minus 1 so this will be a square plus b square plus c square minus ab minus bc minus ca now this is equal to half right what what expansion comes to your mind when you see this this is actually half of a minus b whole square plus b minus c whole square plus c minus a whole square, right? So this is what we have to minimize, right? We have to minimize mod z. So let us minimize mod z square. Now this is mod z square. This is the expression that we have to minimize. So, so when we try to minimize, one way was to put all of them equal to zero, but all of these expressions a minus b whole square b minus c whole square and c minus a whole square can go to zero if we were allowed to take them as equal integers but here we are not allowed to take all of them as equal integers so to get the minimum value i can at least put i can try and put a equal to b okay without loss of generality i am taking a equal to b to minimize the expression so then what will happen to the other two factors here b minus c whole square and c minus a whole square so if a is equal to b this will go to zero but we are still left with b minus c whole square plus c minus a whole square so this difference difference of b minus c whole square should be at least one right b minus c whole square should be at least one because b and c are distinct and they are integers 
so what can be the minimum value of that difference so at least the difference will be at least one right so the square will be at least one and same goes with c minus a so the expression should have at least this value that is nothing but one so this is the minimum value of mod z square so correspondingly the minimum value of mod z will be one so in the next video, we will be discussing a similar question using a similar idea that was repeated in 2019 advanced paper, right? So we will come up with the solution in the next video. Thank you.